Hey, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, zip a folder. So in this project here, I'm isolating something so that I can zip the open projects to back them up because uh, that's how I save states. I don't like to use any kind of plugin or anything. So that's why I learned how to zip. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm going to put this on my second monitor and here is a Windows Forms application and we're just going to click on this button create a handler and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to use a folder browser dialog to select a folder. Okay, check to see if dialog result is equal to okay. So DLG show dialog and if it is then we'll do some stuff now I'm going to define my zip method so the zip method is going to zip the directory including the base directory all the subdirs and the files inside and we're going to save or we're going to zip it to the parent of the directory being zipped so I can right click on this and I can hit add to archive and just hit OK. So I, I've rared Windows Forms application 1 which is the subder and I've rared it to its parent directory being projects here. OK and we're going to do something similar. So we're going to call this zip dir to parent I suppose and it's going to accept a path, a directory that is. And we are going to get the parent of the directory. And there's a trick to this. You can use um, get directory name. Actually, that's not a trick, I suppose. Okay, now we need to get the actual name the save name and we're just going to use the actual dir being zipped we're going to get the name of that and this is the trick that I was supposed to say was a trick get file name so you can use get file name to get the actual name of the directory without the all like all the containing directories uh, yeah is it yeah you can actually get the the most specific directory name and that's about it. Okay now we're going to actually construct the file name and we're going to just combine the parent directory with the name here and then we're going to add the extension .zip Okay, now we can use zip file and that's not going to be there so we're going to have to add a reference so I'm going to right click on references hit add references and we're going to search file system and you want to check system IO compression file system now you can use zip file and we want to use its static methods so create from directory is the one we want and we're going to get the directory passed in that's the source directory the one we want to zip and then the destination is the um, file name and we're going to have to specify these enums here so compression level, you can do fastest if you want to. And then include base directory, true. Otherwise, it's just going to, to uh, zip everything within the specified directory and not the directory itself. Okay, now we can actually call, I can make this static. I don't know why this isn't static. Why it's not telling me I can make it static, that's odd. Okay, so zip to, dir, zip dir to parent, 
and we'll just use the selected path of the DLG folder browser. And that will do. And after that, we want to. I'm just going to open up the um, the parent there using process start. So let's open up something. I'm going to zip my pictures. I probably should have uh, picked something a bit smaller because my pictures has two gigs. Okay, that's a bad example So because it was just going to take forever. Um, so I'm going to try something else. I'm going to now zip Frostwire. Hit OK. And there we are. So Frostwire. There's the actual directory here in my documents. Is No, it's not my documents. It's in my user directory. You're not actually going to get the directory name because of the way they tried to ex abstract you from the paths here in the, the user directory. It's, I don't, I dislike it. But yes, here is Frostwire. Here's the zipped uh, directory. And that's it. See ya.